morning parents and my dear students. Today we will revise lesson 19, the potter's wheel from the EVS book. Underline the correct answer. The process of baking dried pots is called shaping or firing or glazing or decoration. Firing is the correct answer. Next, a pot becomes waterproof when it is shaped or baked or decorated or glazed. Glazed. Example of glazed pot is this and it is waterproof. State whether the statements are true or false. Matkas are used to serve tea. This statement is false. Now, this is a matka. We do not serve tea in a matka. We serve tea in a kulnar. In this. Next. Kneading helps to remove air bubbles from the clay. True. The potter's wheel was invented in India. False. It was invented in China. Fill in the blanks. Pinch pots are made by pinching the clay between the fingers and the thumbs. Next. The potter's wheel was invented nearly 5,000 years ago in China. Next. Dash is a musical instrument made of clay. Ghatam. Now let's unscramble the letters to find the answer. Dash removes air bubbles that would crack the pot when baked. Kneading. K N E A D I N G. Kneading. Next. Dash are used to store water and keep it cool. Matkas. Next, Merat in UP is famous for surais of different shapes. Pick out the error and write the correct answer. Gamla is a musical instrument made of clay. Gamla is not a musical instrument. Ghatam. Is a musical instrument. A potter's wheel is a flat round table. It's not table, it's disc. India leads the world in pottery production. It's not India, it's England. Let's look at some more facts from this lesson and give one word answers for the following. It is an art of making things with clay. Pottery. Pottery is an art of making things with clay. Next, 
It is the process of baking the dried pots. Firing. Firing is the process of baking the dried pots. Next, it is an oven where pots are baked. Kiln. A kiln is an oven where pots are baked. Let's look at some more questions. What is pottery? Pottery is the art of making things from clay. And why is clay used to make pots? Clay is used to make pots because it is sticky and becomes hard after drying. Name five pottery items used by people. Kulhars like this. Matkas. This is called a matka. Gamlas, Diyas and Toys. Let's continue with our revision. Let's take up lesson 20, Textiles. Underline the correct answer. Brown color comes from onions, sunflower petals, indigo plants, or none of them. Brown color comes from onions. It comes from onions. Next. Lucknow is famous for what kind of embroidery? Ikka, Phulkari, Kantha or Chicken Curry? Chicken Curry. And this is an example of the embroidery famous from Lucknow called chicken curry. Next question. Fill in the blanks. A dash is also called odhani, dupatta. A dupatta is also called Ordhani. A man's shawl is called Lohi. Next. A dash is an unstitched fabric of 5 meters worn by women in India. Sari. Number D. A long skirt worn by women in Sikkim is called Baku. Now, state whether these statements are true or false. A chimney is worn to keep warm. False. A shawl is used to keep warm. This is a shawl to keep you warm. Number B. A sari is worn in only one way in India. This is also false. A sari in India is worn in different styles. Number C. The women of Rajasthan wear ghagra choli and odhani. True. Now name these. A long loose woolen coat worn by women in Kashmir. Firan. The only dye that sets in cotton clothes. Indigo. Number C. It is a headgear worn by men in India. Turban.
Number D. The men of this place wear a lungi called Tehmat. Punjab. Let's continue. Answer the following questions. What did early man wear? Early man wore bark of trees, leaves or skin of animals. This is an example of covering his body with leaves. Give examples of three unstitched cloth worn as clothes. Sari, dupatta, shawl. Name two plants from which natural dyes can be obtained. Indigo plant and sunflower. This is the question paper pattern. But now that we are having online examinations, questions will be in objective form. There will be four options and you will have to choose from them. Worksheets related to these topics will be uploaded on your school website. Parents, please help your children to go through them. Thank you and have a good day.